welcome to another video in this video i'm going to explain you an important aspect which is the voltage the vd sat at which saturation happens again if you haven't watched previous videos you might not understand this much so please go through the previous video where i started explaining the operation of transistor and that is really important and after explaining that, after going through that video, I realized that a couple of other points that I need to explain or elaborate further. Okay, so for that to understand VDSAT, I will show you the ID versus VDS curve and we will go over that again. But first, when I say VGS, what does that mean? That means the gate voltage and source voltage source is at ground so even the drain and the gate both we measure with respect to ground which is um, source so, so when i say gate to source i mean the voltage difference between this and this or that also mean the voltage that apply here when i say vds i mean the voltage that i apply at drain with respect to source or the voltage that I apply here. This is source, this is drain, this is gate, and we are talking about NMOS transistor. We will get to PMOS trans transistor in another video, but right now it's important that you understand that. Okay, understood? This is the IDS, and IDS is the current that flows between here and here electrons flow from source to drain but actually current flows to the lower potential uh, from higher potential to the ground so current flows from d to s this plot shows you how current changes when you change drain to source voltage and this curve ids versus vds is also called output characteristics of the transistor so what happens is until a certain point on each curve and what is this curve let's um, I'm, I'm let's let's pick let's pick this value mm, this one in the middle let me turn this into red i don't know how to turn this i probably need to draw it on top of this not perfectly aligned but i hope oh yeah i can use this thing um hmm. let's see can i yeah be too big it's not too big all right i think by but now you understand <laughs> which curve i'm talking about so is this vgs4 so what happens until this point, which we call VD set. As we increase, so before this is the point, I'm, I'm just assuming that a transistor has already, gate to source voltage is already more than the threshold voltage, so current starts flowing. Before that, there is no current. So it's a cutoff region. So this region from here to here, which is kind of linear, I this is the linear and this is the point before this particular value of drain to source. Until that, the current increases when I increase DS, drain voltage, current goes up linearly. So this is the linear region. What happens beyond that? As I start increasing voltage, VDS, and keep in mind, my gate to source is now fixed. Since in, in this operation, we are changing gate voltage and drain voltage, sometimes that confuses us a lot. So just assume VGS4 is a, let's say, a fixed voltage, um, 1 volt. Okay. This VDS, let's say, comes at 0.2 volt, VDS. Threshold voltage is already 0.64. So again, we already, when we are here, we already assume that a gate source voltage is higher than threshold voltage. Okay, so it's one volt. It's already, oh, it's like that here. One volt. 
already greater than V threshold, which is around 0.6 volt for N mass for Intel 180 nanometer. So we are in a transistor is has a strong inversion happen. And now we are increasing DS, so current starts flowing. And changes linearly with IDS, changes linear with VD, VDS. So now you understand that, but you probably be thinking that for different VGS, you have a different current. That's one thing. And the other thing is you're thinking, Rashid, you said VD set is a particular voltage, but for each curve, it's a different, like as VGS increases, the, volt, the point at which that saturation starts comes earlier. And that is the point I really wanted to clarify. What is that VD set? So let's go up, go up or go down. Yeah. Um, so when we apply gate voltage, and when, what is the, what are different forces which are opposing that? I mentioned that when gate voltage or gate to source voltage reaches equal or greater than V threshold. At threshold, a strong inversion happens. So there is, is a, this area, the, the phenomenon happening there are kind of opposing this, any change. And that change, we say that that's a kind of a opposing force here, which is a threshold voltage. We need to cross that barrier. That barrier, once we cross that, that initial voltage is all spent on creating that inversion here, if you remember. And that inversion is really threshold. So we need to first opposing force is that barrier of V threshold, which we call. Then as soon as we start applying drain voltage, now this apply voltage is facing another barrier, which is more like when you apply a drain voltage, this is the maximum drain voltage here. And then as you go, and let's say this is a long channel, as we start walking here, this voltage start dropping, 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 eventually drop to zero. Okay, that's important. Now, so here on this one, where this voltage impact of is zero, if I try, sorry, I said I'm not going to write many equations, but I have to write few. So think of that. If you, you are an electrical student, so I'm sure you understand when I draw something like, there's a fixed voltage source Let's call this is my gate to source volt and this positive apply. And then the first opposing force to me is this VT threshold or VTH. At this point, it's just this. This is my circuit. So the catch of voltage law, when you go around, you if you write an equation for it, and let's say you're going around. So first you hit this, which is positive Vt. Then you hit here, this is minus Vgs equal to zero. Or you can say Vgs is equal to Vt. So once VGS is equal to VT, we are arrive here at an uh, inversion, strong inversion. So anything of VGS, which is more than VT, is kind of overdrive now. It's more than enough to create a there. But that overdrive alone is not enough to make the current flow. For that, we have to apply drain voltage and when we apply drain voltage we are actually kind of creating an opposing force somewhere in this part of the channel this this voltage kind of drops down 
but the maximum value of here let's say here at this point we have this posing it's also positive on the top negative at the bottom because in opposing and this is v drain so if i update this equation let's rewrite the equation don't need to make a mess vds vgs is equal to zero or i can say vds is equal to vgs minus vt for a given this world let's say one world we were thinking one volt and this is 0.6 volt this is 0.4 volt so when vds here is 0.4 volt you are kind of exactly equal this or you can say that my gate voltage is enough to create to fight this and fight this VDS when this is 0.4 hope I'm not confusing you further um, so when this is 1 volt and if VDS is 0.4 volt so this drive is equal to this one there's no overdrive at that moment there's no overdrive but at least I have enough gate voltage to fight um, this voltage and the threshold voltage 0.6 is threshold voltage 0.4 I have applied here and kind of in there but here in this region my overdrive that VD is 0 so my overdrive is actually 0.4 volt so you, you understand my point our overdrive V over oops not that one v overdrive which is the voltage above the threshold voltage and the opposing voltage vd kind of decreases as i go here this voltage overdrive decreases so this is max here and min here so this this exact the voltage the exact voltage which is enough to fight against this and this is actually the VD set. This number is really important for analog IC designers. I think as a digital IC designer, if you, even if you don't remember this, you just remember, okay, there's a value of VD where saturation happens. And that is because for digital, uh, transistors may remain in a uh, linear region and for analog we prefer saturation why i think i might touch that later on but that still is important for you to understand that and what happens is as this voltage d uh, voltage drain goes further up let's say this is fixed as one volt as this increases Okay, we start increasing the current now, right? Uh, because we're pulling the current more. But what starts happening is uh, this gap increases because now this voltage and near the end, this overdrive is not enough to really fight this voltage. It's barely enough to fight this voltage. But the total difference need to be enough to create a strong inversion so actually what starts happening is um, this thing starts getting wider and wider this reverse bias and what starts happening is that since um, we don't have the effective overdrive voltage is not that high so eventually this region starts pinching off like I should maybe 
maybe do this a depletion region kind of this this thing kind of start pinching off so we don't have enough like a strong inversion a lot of electrons here they cause less because now that's effective gate voltage is not enough to create this much uh, gap over here because of this voltage drain happening and what happens when that starts that is where you know now going back after this after this point if i start increasing drain strips we start going to pinch off and const it as steady state you probably be thinking there's the other point i wanted to clarify you probably be thinking russia now we have a pinch off this is a block it's not a blocked it's a reverse bias region threshold is high but once i start increasing this one this is a pretty strong electric force it's like this is a guy who just drags these things out so because of very high potential there's a very strong drift there anything that drives here that just drags it here so that's what current is constant now at that moment as i increase vds it's fairly constant as you can see this now is not i'm not drawing an exact straight line and that is something i'm going to touch in the next video but right now if you look at this one if if your gate to source voltage this is a fixed volt here one volt if i do 0.8 volt what happens since my gate voltage is less now that point where i my overdrive kind of uh, is enough that reaches earlier on so my vd set on this curve will happen earlier on so vd set is not a fix it's the fixed thing once your gate to source is fixed you understand that that is the key point i wanted to uh, you understand if for example if my voltage is less and let's say i have now 0.8 volt and this will difference is 0.2 volt and this is fixed this is fixed for transistor this depends on the technology parameters um and, and certain other things but let's assume this is fixed uh so this one now this difference again so vd set is my point two so once point two again mode vds is more than point two i will start getting into saturation and that makes sense right so let's say now it has i gone less gate to source voltage my saturation start happening early on so i wanted to make sure that i'm able to explain this better and at this point when you connect for different gates you say this point i don't want to say another thing i don't want to confuse it but any this region is a linear region approximate linear and this one is anything beyond right side is a saturation on the left side is linear hope i'm able to explain that better this time and if you still have questions please ask me